Hello, everyone. Before we begin the uh, ceremony today, I just want to do a couple of quick updates. Um, thank you for everyone in the audience should, as we communicated, be in a mask. Uh, so for all of our indoor events, uh, please maintain your mask for the duration of the event. Then uh, graduates, when you are, we've, we've confirmed your vaccination status. So if you are a vaccinated student, when it comes to time of reading names, you're going to come up on this side of the stage. Uh, one of our uh, field marshals will direct you. You'll come up over on this side of the stage and you'll be able to take, for those of you that are vaccinated, remove your mask, uh, take a picture with President DeSalvo along with your personalized gift, and then you'll exit right behind where I am standing on this set of stairs. For those of you that are unvaccinated, uh, you do need to keep your mask on, and uh, Franny, who will be at the edge of the stairs as one of the field marshals, will communicate with you that, that to you as well. So we'll be just starting in just one quick minute. Thank you. And welcome back, class of 2020. Yeah. Before we begin, please rise for the playing of our national anthem, sung by Abby Lantic, accompanied by Raymond Novak. Welcome back to our beautiful campus, which is located on the homelands of the Namkieg tribe. Their descendants continue to survive and retain their oral and cultural traditions. This acknowledgement is a simple, powerful way for us to show respect and take a step toward correcting the stories that erase tribal history. Welcome to this ceremony to honor the Endicott class of 2020. The theologian C.S. Lewis said, the great thing, if one can, 
is to stop regarding all the unpleasant things as interruptions of one, uh, one's own or one's real life. The truth is, of course, that what one calls the interruptions are precisely one's real life, the life God is sending one day by day, end quote. We cannot ignore the interruption of the global pandemic to your senior year, but today we are inspired and thankful to be together to celebrate you, the class of 2020. Pray together today that every one of you and your classmates who are unable to be here today have lives of great success in all of your endeavors and that each of you are able to make the most of the real life you are living. We offer gratitude to the source of all of life, called by many names and in many ways, for this opportunity to be together to appreciate you and your awesome accomplishments. Amen. Now my pleasure to introduce our provost, Dr. Beth Schwartz. Good afternoon and congratulations, Endicott Class of 2020. Welcome guests, faculty, and staff to this fantastic day, the centerpiece of this year's homecoming and family weekend. With the return of our esteemed Class of 2020, we're truly living up to our event namesake. This is your homecoming, after all. And with autumn tiptoeing in, you must surely be reminded of your earliest days on campus and those feelings of possibility and excitement that arrive when undertaking any new endeavor. I hope those feelings are with you again now because today is about you and the culmination of everything you've accomplished, not just at Endicott, but the careers or graduate experiences you've now launched beyond the nest the friendships and professional connections you've formed, and the lives you've undoubtedly touched since your time on our campus. Everyone talks about adapting to life in this new normal, yet that's what you've always strived to do here at Endicott. Prepare you to be prepared for the unknown and the unexpected. That preparation is our goal, with or without a global pandemic, which when we look back, we all know it required a significant shift in our lives. Nevertheless, even in the midst of the unexpected and in the midst of the greatest unknown, you persevered. Through rigorous academics and our experiential learning and authentic career preparation that are important parts of our academic model, and through our strength and community, you've left the nest better prepared than your peers to navigate our changing and complicated world, no matter what direction you've chosen to take. Now it's up to you to put those skills to work and make the world a less complicated place, and to do it always with an understanding of the importance of the community that surrounds you. I'm excited for the world to continue to get to know you, class of 2020. In a world where many gatherings continue to be hybrid or virtual, I'm grateful that we're able to assemble here in person on this beautiful campus that was and is your community. This event today represents in part the authentic Endicott gathered together to celebrate your academic accomplishments. I started here at Endicott in the summer of 2020, so today is the first day that I get to meet many of you, but in some ways I feel that I already know you. Yes, you ended your time as a student here from afar, but regardless, you represent a long legacy of graduates from Endicott College, and we're proud of all that you've accomplished. So well done, class of 2020, well done. Here's to our unforgettable celebration today and to your futures that are already underway. And we couldn't be more proud and you are more promising than ever. And now it's my honor and pleasure to introduce President Stephen DeSalvo, whose dedicated leadership continues to strengthen the college that you call your alma mater. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the long-awaited recognition ceremony for the class of 2020. 
this is truly an extraordinary day, and we have much to commemorate. When I assumed my role as president in 2019, I could not have imagined the changes heading our way. But here we are, finally. I want to thank you all for your grace and your patience and let you know that it is my distinct honor to preside over this special day, to truly be able to celebrate your momentous accomplishment that was interrupted by a global pandemic more than a year and a half ago. While you received your diplomas and have commenced with your life journey, today allows us to pause and reflect on your time here at the Nest. Of course, as you know, this is an untraditional event, but since you arrived at Endicott, nothing about your class was traditional. Whether you were an undergraduate student or a master's or a doctoral degree recipient, your journey at Endicott was paved with challenges that spurred your growth, its success, fortified by your confidence, skill, and determination, and of course, the pandemic that both honed your resiliency and reprioritized what matters in life. While you immersed yourself in studies and life here at Endicott, you not only contended with the pandemic, but you also watched the world change around you in other vast and consequential ways. From political turmoil, to the realities of climate change, to the issues of gun violence and racial injustice, no class experienced more history on such a grand scale than the class of 2020. Throughout everything, your entrepreneurial spirit, your flexibility, endurance, and empathy shone brightly. Every graduating class is unforgettable, but for me, you are my forever reminder that how we pivot, how we adapt to adversity, and carry ourselves forward are what really matters. It is this unique ability that has already set you apart and will continue to set you apart no matter what the world has in store. Endicott represents the culmination of just one era of your life, which as you know can be wild unpredictable, rewarding, and always something to fight for and to cherish. Academically, you are well prepared for the road ahead. You have already left the nest with a degree and a resume, a remarkable skill set that every day moves you even closer to conquering all of your goals and an invaluable ability to adapt and grow. But I do hope that your return to campus on this lively homecoming weekend makes you even prouder of everything you accomplished here. The lifelong friendships that you forged, the connections that you made with faculty who cared deeply about you and your future. All the laughs, all the tears, but in the end, the perseverance. As a class, you have proved that anything is possible and you've set the standard for both current and future students alike. You, the esteemed class of 2020, represent the very spirit of Endicott College. Class of 2020, it is my fervent wish that you always harness the innovative thinking, empathy, and resiliency you've gained here at Endicott as a force for good in this ever-changing world. Become a global citizen, one who reaches out to others and always tries to make life better for everyone around you. Never stop learning. Find the lesson in everything. And most importantly, always be you. It is my sincere hope, especially on this joyous homecoming weekend, that you continue to return and return again to our incredible campus overlooking the mighty Atlantic and to the Endicott you love. I'm reminded of these lines from the Irish poet, William Butler Yeats, who wrote, I will arise and go now, for always night and day. I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Congratulations to you, our class of 2020, you are a historic and extraordinary group, and I know you will continue to make us all proud. 
Thank you, and go Gulls. It is my distinct honor to introduce Anna McAllister, the faculty department lead and professor at the Garish School of Business and our esteemed guest speaker for today's ceremony. Oh. President DeSalvo, Provost Schwartz, 2020 graduates, families and friends. Thank you for having me here today. Class of 2020, what can I say? Congratulations. You persevered through a very difficult senior year and we are so proud of you. Together, we share so many memories of a year that can only be described as bizarre. I don't wanna talk at length about the difficulties you faced during your senior year. Instead, I want to celebrate you and your accomplishments. You grew in the face of challenges and uncertainty. You learned to use Zoom, to take a nasal swab, to spread your wings and to cover your beak. Your ability to rise to the challenge pushed you over the finish line. Again, congratulations. A couple of years ago in a School of Business faculty meeting, one of our graduate assistants shared a brief story that really stuck with me. She talked about how when she was a young child, her parents would refer to making memories anytime their family faced difficulties. She talked about rained out camping trips and time spent in airports with flights delayed and how her father would always say, well, we're making memories. The story stuck with me because I liked the ability this young woman had to turn negatives into positives. I am so glad that I heard that line, we're making memories, shortly before the pandemic hit. It helped me to stay calm. During our first lockdown, when nobody really knew what might happen next, I remember many Zoom meetings and phone calls with Dean Page and Dean Torrance as we worked to figure out how to switch out our uh, teaching to remote and how best to serve our students. It was stressful. In addition to caring for our students, we were concerned for our loved ones and for our own health and well-being. Throughout some tense meetings and through all the uncertainty, I would often remind myself, we're making memories, we're making memories. I took screenshots during some of those Zoom meetings and I now look back at the images very fondly. Our shared memories of navigating difficult times together have helped strengthen relationships with my colleagues. You too should know that bonds can be formed throughout your career as you share highs and lows with others. Personally, there are parts of 2020 I would love to forget, but I do try to remind myself of the best bits. One of my favorite COVID memories is of my weekly dates with a colleague who I didn't know so well pre-COVID. By coincidence, we had scheduled our weekly COVID tests at the same time. Each Thursday at 3.15 p.m., we would walk to the chapel together and stick Q-tips in our noses. Who knew that those daily, uh, so, sorry, those weekly nasal swab dates would lay the foundation to a delightful friendship? Though I'm glad 2020 is behind me, I am thankful for that wonderful newfound friend. Throughout your career, when times get tough, remember you are making memories and take comfort in those who surround you during difficult times. Together, you will have stories to share at some time in the future. I want to take a moment to acknowledge why I'm speaking here today. I was honored to receive the 2020 Academic Excellence Award. This award was only made possible because one of my peers nominated me. To this day, I'm not sure who that was. But knowing that a peer took the time to nominate me for an award reminds me of one of my favorite aphorisms. A rising, fly, a rising tide floats all boots. I heard this uh, quote from a friend just a few years ago, and at the time, I found it very poignant, but I didn't know the origins. I was unaware of the link to economics. But that's not the connection that I want to draw here today. When I hear the line, a rising tide floats all boats, I think about our collective need to uplift those around us. When we actively pursue opportunities to praise others, we create a positive tide that is beneficial to all in our midst. To the peer faculty member who nominated me for the 2020 Academic Excellence Award, thank you.
It was relatively early in the pandemic when I learned that I had received this award. I felt honored and uplifted, and I wanted to share my positivity. I actively looked for opportunities to help others. Though we often heard the mantras, we're all in this together, or we're all in the same boat, it is not true that we were all equally well prepared for the storm. When the pandemic hit, I realized I felt better prepared than some of my colleagues. With seven years of experience teaching online, I had already uh, had plenty of recorded lectures and lots of practice using the fancy features on Canvas. Having worked with projects with collaborators in multiple different states, I have frequently used Zoom well before the pandemic. I have been sharing my screen and saying, you're on mute for years already. And so I leapt into action trying to assist my colleagues. I spent hours every week giving workshops and demonstrations, trying to reassure my colleagues that the technology works and that any, any hiccups can be overcome. I'm not saying I had all the answers, I most certainly didn't, uh, but I did see the, uh, the pandemic as an opportunity to create that rising tide for others. I helped many of my colleagues to upskill and gain confidence with their remote teaching, and so I hope that they too might have some fond memories of our collective bonding experience of 2020 and now 2021. For those of you who are relatively fresh in your careers, I encourage you to actively look for opportunities to create that rising tide. Praise others often. Nominate your peers for rewards and look for the good in others. If you seek to find fault in others, you most certainly will. But if you look for the goodness, you'll most certainly find that too. Find that goodness and celebrate it. Celebrating others feels really good. In addition to showing kindness and support to others, it's important to be kind to yourself. Life isn't perfect. It never will be. It is easy to fall into the trap of comparing yourself to others, especially when social media fosters a culture where people show only their best selves. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is living their best life every minute of every day. There will be highs and lows. You will make mistakes. You will have setbacks. You will question your choices sometimes, and that is all okay. You are human. Do not hold yourself to standards that you wouldn't impose on another. Our inner voices can be incredibly powerful, and so it's important to train them to be kind. Let me finish by mentioning that I have switched career paths more than once. I went to university preparing to be a clinical psychologist. I got my first counseling job, and I hated it. Then I worked in market research for a little while. It turns out my psychology degree gave me some great research methods training. I hated working nine to five while wearing a suit. So I went to grad school, and while undertaking my doctoral studies, I started my own consulting business. It was a hustle, and I loved it. But I realized what I loved most was being on a college campus. I was offered a teaching job and I was so nervous on the first day that I almost didn't show up. I was 25 at the time. I looked younger than most of my students who were juniors. I was terrified. But I showed up and my goal was just to stay a week ahead of the students and to make sure they didn't sense my fear. That first class, consumer behavior, was the first class I ever taught. That was in Australia in 2006. I've taught consumer behavior every semester since. From a business school in Australia to the Department of Consumer Science at University of Wisconsin, to the Department of Advertising and Public Relations at Michigan State, and now here in the Garish School of Business at Endicott College. I had to work hard sometimes to find where I fit, but finding that fit is the joy of the ride. So class of 2020, I wish you well in your endeavors. I hope you too will find the courage to explore your passions and enjoy the journey. Thank you. It is my distinct honor as provost of the college to invite members of the class of 2020 onto the stage to be recognized for their academic accomplishments and as graduates of Endicott. All graduates will receive a personalized gift to celebrate their achievement. Before beginning the recognition ceremony, as President DeSalvo noted, this year in recognition and honor of our healthcare heroes during a global pandemic, 
will first recognize our graduates from the School of Nursing. First, we have those who've received their master's degree in 2020, Brianna Marie Cody. No. No. Uh, Kimberly Pat, no, okay, this is how it's going to work, so just bear with me. <laughs> we'll start with the bachelor's degrees from the School of Nursing. Catherine Denker, magna cum laude. Catherine Ellen Elkus. <laughs> Elaine Marie Foss, cum laude. <laughs> Zoe Mackenzie Gifford, cum laude. Brianna Marie Knight. <laughs> Rachel Ann Pereira, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lauren Shimkus, cum laude. <laughs> and Emma Lavina Volker. And next, from the School of Arts and Sciences. Jenna Marie Alfano, summa cum laude. Jeremy Barr. <laughs> Larissa Cade, cum laude. <laughs> Justine Connolly, cum laude. Nicole Annette Conway. Evan Michael Cushot, magna cum laude. Jacob DiFilippo, cum laude. Megan Ann Del Genio, cum laude. Christine Folsom, cum laude. <laughs> Alex Shea Gardner, cum laude. <laughs> Jillian Gibbs, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kylie Jean Greenleaf, summa cum laude. Madeline Hefferin. Yeah, Maddie! Stephen Hoadley. Yeah. Matt
Madison Huber. Emma Jutras. Ryan Jane Laverie. Shannon Marshall, summa cum laude. Emma Nicole McDowell. Sierra McClear. Tyler Willett. Magna cum laude. Laura Owens, summa cum laude. Nicole Parker Munden. Celia Perry, cum laude. Michaela Shea Powers, magna cum laude. Felicia Reddish. David E. Rodriguez. Joshua Romano. Katherine Sharn, magna cum laude. Ian Schmidt, magna cum laude. Melissa Schwope. Abdurashid Sal. Magna cum laude. <laughs> Lauren Stearns. <laughs> cum laude. <laughs> Beth Stearns. <laughs> Savannah Thomas, cum laude. Marie Urson, cum laude. Michael Varno, magna cum laude. Caitlin Venagoni Ranger. We're moving on to the Garish School of Business. We'll start with Chala Chilan. Deirdre Hammer Colantino. Kendall Marie Gorky. <laughs> Lindsay Griffith. <laughs> Julia.
Juliet Hadameo. Laura Luna. Amy Madden. Carrie Phelan. Robert Seraphine. And Mishkanyawi. De Lobes. Latoya Kendrick. Carolyn Judd. Casey Joyce. graduates received a master's degree from the Garrett School of Business. And now we're on to the bachelor's degree, Ava Agosto Baez. Chase Wayne Andrews. Diana Barr. Brianna Christine Bouchard, magna cum laude. Michael Ian Bruns. Connolly, summa cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas Connor. <laughs> Alexandra Dipple. Koya Dut. <laughs> Nicholas Fichtner. <laughs> Magna cum laude. <laughs> Delcy Gonzalez, cum laude. Nick Grace, magna cum laude. <laughs> Emily Graham, magna cum laude. <laughs> Michael Sherrod Jenkins, Jr. <laughs> Andrew Levine, magna cum laude. Araya Lachard. <laughs> Kendall Lynch, summa cum laude.
Olivia Matthews, Justin McCormick, magna cum laude. John Francis McGuire. Jade Meyer, summa cum laude. Craig Mulligan, cum laude. Juan Nieto, Jameis Patrick O'Donovan, Rachel Catherine Paul, magna cum laude. Catherine Peter. Haley Naomi Portman. Olivia Sheldon. Magna cum laude. Anthony Joseph Silva, cum laude. Marine Corps veteran Matthew J. Smith. Victoria Stefanelli, summa cum laude. Haley Webb. Joseph Young, magna cum laude. <laughs> now on to the School of Communications. Allison Crowley, cum laude. <laughs> Lisa Demersion. Rachel Lauren Galante. Hey, Rachel! That's my best friend! <laughs> Alexa Giarusso. <laughs> Maya Rose Gerard, cum laude. <laughs> Riley Jensen, cum laude. Megan Cena McBride. <laughs> Alexandra Jennifer O'Brien, cum laude. <laughs> Tristan Torrance. And Connor Dante Watson. to the School of Hospitality Management. Sabrina Catherine Elizabeth Blake, cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas James Cameron. Julia McIntyre. Yeah, Julia. Thomas Mathis. Sydney Lynn Ryu, magna cum laude. Emily Marie Roach, cum laude. Zoe Roland Simpson, magna cum laude. Olivia Nicole Weeks. Yeah, Liv! Jillian Woodman.
Hannah Pessy. to the School of Education. We'll start with two students who received their Doctor of Philosophy, Gabriel Marie Morgan and Karen Elizabeth Rose. And then we'll move on to those who received their master's degrees, Colleen Barrett Lindsay Jane Bees. Sonia Brown. Sophia Del Rio Vicario. Alexandra Colonin. Hasha Lewis. Agenenwa Noli. Christina Payne. And Layla Humphrey. And now on to our bachelor's degrees in the School of Education, Taylor, Taylor Burtis. <laughs> Julie Champini, magna cum laude. <laughs> Brittany Corson, magna cum laude. <laughs> Sarah Couture, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Gorse, summa cum laude. Liza Hall, cum laude. Michaela Hamill, magna cum laude. Catherine Mary Harrison, summa cum laude. Lauren Maria Inglesby, summa cum laude. Carolyn Mabardi, magna cum laude. Elizabeth McCall Matsuchi, summa cum laude. Kristen Mary McCarthy, magna cum laude. <laughs> Hannah McDonald, summa cum laude. Margot Oram, magna cum laude. Mary Fifley, magna cum laude. <laughs> Shelby Janine Roussel, cum laude. Meg Elizabeth Sandblum, summa cum laude. Isabella Rose Sears, summa cum laude. Madison Ventresca, summa cum laude. Morgan Whalen, cum laude. and Megan Witten, magna cum laude. And now we'll move on to our School of Sports Science. Starting with Katherine Michelle Bernfeld, magna cum laude. 
And then Hannah Rose Buckley, cum laude. Garrett Adams Connell Campion. Brendan Coppenda, magna cum laude. Maximilian K. Shabbat, summa cum laude. Christian Collum, cum laude. Nicole Demers, summa cum laude. Christopher Faust, magna cum laude. Ella Folsom Fraster. Colin Graves, cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Kobelski, magna cum laude. Katie Latassa, La summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Llewellyn, magna cum laude. Holly Jean McCormick, magna cum laude. Yeah, Holly. Roderick Anthony Pacheco II. Yeah. Alyssa Peterson, cum laude. Sean Rajat, magna cum laude. Jay Riley. Evan Williamson Sampson, William Sampson, cum laude. And Alexandra Wolf, cum laude. And now on to the School of Visual and Performing Arts. Jillian Butler, magna cum laude. Emily Elise De La Rocha. Jessica Du Bois, magna cum laude. Erade Dumas. Gabriela Guerrero, Gabriela Guerrero, summa cum laude. Greer Anime Hines, magna cum laude. Brittany Humphrey, magna cum laude. Kylie Kaloje, Danielle Elizabeth Mann, magna cum laude. the final graduate in the school who will tell me her name? Madison Mucci. Let's hear it for Madison. Maddie, 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 Mucci. Cum laude. Caroline Nietzsche. Yeah. 
Emily Norman, magna cum laude. Lindsay Peckham, magna cum laude. Emily Pereira, summa cum laude. Savannah Pierce, cum laude. Shyla Smith, magna cum laude. Abigail Sahusky, cum laude. Sarah Jane Visnick, magna cum laude. Amber Viamea, summa cum laude. Alexandra Whipple, magna cum laude. Alexandra Julia Williams, summa cum laude. Michelle McKenna. Abigail Silva. Matthew Speliotis. Ada Ronke Speliotis. And receiving her associate's degree, Michaela Pierre Lewis. Let's give a round of applause for the entire class of 2020. If you turn your program over, you'll find the lyrics of the Endicott College alma mater. And we have the Endicott singers who will be singing the alma mater for you. Congratulations, class of 2020.
congratulations. A person's spiritual journey is not about the circumstances that occur on one's path, but instead it's about how a person engages with the circumstances that they encounter. It is about what they bring to life. Today, as we end our ceremony to honor you, we pray that you will continue to meet the challenges in your life, to contribute to a brighter future, and create great success for yourself and for others. We pray that you will be inspired to bring the spiritual attributes of the gull into the world, qualities like having an openness to a diverse range of perspectives, the courage to leave the comfort of what you already know to expand your horizons, persistence, resourcefulness, and intentionality. And we pray that like the gull, an animal that thrives in community, that you be aware of the power available in creating friendships, partnerships, alliances, and counting on the strength of community to carry you forward in life. We appreciate you and wish you all the best. Amen.